Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hold on, what? we're going to continue multiplication because as we have a test on this, I am going to need you to be able to multiply. Multiply using visuals for decimals. Get an answer correct when we do this very easily. Now I said we start with estimating. So Sushana, what did you get as an estimate on this problem? And how did you get 18? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she did 2 times 9. She made 8 and 9 tenths to 9. You could just do the whole numbers 2 times 8. So you could have an, an estimate of 16, an estimate of 18. But this is what you do first. That's why it's written here. Come around here, boy. I'll tell you what. Manasi, how many numbers are going to be behind the decimal in my answer? Three. Three numbers behind the decimal in my answer. Because there are three numbers behind the decimal in my problem. I've done this before I have done any math work. Then I'm going to multiply. When I multiply, I just ignore the decimal points until I get the final product. Then I put my decimal points in. So, Mina, you're going to help me with my ones place. So, Mina, 9 times 2 is 18. So, 8 ones or 110 and 8 ones. Mina, 9 times 2 is 18 plus the 1, 19. And we've got to bring that over again now. Mina, 9 times 2 is plus plus the 1, 19. So I multiplied my 1's place through, and you should have gotten 1998. 1998. Now I'm going to move on to my. I'm going to move on to my tens place. So my first number needs to go in my tens place. That is the reason the zero goes there. And let's see who's going to help me here. Jeremy, what is eight times two? Sixteen. Sixteen, so then I have to put that one up there. Jeremy, what is eight times two? Sixteen. Plus the one we seventeen. seventeen. Jeremy, what is eight times two? Sixteen. Plus the one other one? Seventeen. Seventeen. Then I add these two products together. One nine seven five eight. One nine seven five eight. Jalen, where does my decimal point go? In between the 9 and the 7. Now he can tell that two ways. My estimate was 18. And there are three numbers have to be behind my decimal point. Again, I don't care if you use your multiplication chart until we get these learned. It's only 5th grade. I mean, come on. What possible 5th grader would know their multiplication facts? That's just cray cray. 72 and 4 tenths times 19. Kaylee, what was your estimate? 1,368. 1,368? How did you get that? Um, so I looked at the 70, 72.4 and I knew I had to multiply it the whole number. So I looked at the 19 and there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no decimal point, so I just multiply it. You multiplied 72 times 19? Because we're just multiplying the whole numbers. I would make it 72 times 20. 0, 4, so 1,440, 1,368, good. Okay. And 
Davis, how many numbers behind the decimal point in my answer? One. One. Because there's only one number behind it in the problem. Very good. Let's go here with Buddy. What is 9 times, well, let me rewrite it over here, 724 times 19. So, Buddy, what's 9 times 4? 36. 36. <laughs> Buddy, what's 9 times 2? Plus 3? 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 3 is... 18 plus 3. 18. 19, 20, 21. Yeah. Buddy, what is 9 times 7? 7. Good. 63 plus the extra 2 is 65. So if you use the standard algorithm, this is what your first line should have looked like. <clears throat> I mean, if you're brilliant at multiplication like many of you are. <laughs> now we get to the difficult part. Difficult part, so I'm going to have to call on my smartest student to do this difficult part. <laughs> Got him! Brooke! Four. Four. Good. Yeah, Brooke, one times two. Two. Brooke, one times seven. seven. See, there's no way you could have done that. Alexis, where does my decimal point go? Still Here's my estimate. Here's the number of places behind my decimal point. Between the five and the six. Please subscribe.